sworn to serve and now accused of crimes including attempted rape. Four volunteer firefighters in Falston are facing a range of charges after two incidents police say involved the attempted rape of a teenager. WJZ is live in Hartford County. Kimberly Eaton with the disturbing allegations. Kimberly? And Mary, the fire chief here says he's disgusted, handing over four of his members after learning about ongoing bad behavior that he says started back in June. Their mission is to serve and protect, but three firefighters and one former member of Falston Volunteer Fire Company are accused of breaking that oath and breaking the law. Now facing criminal charges ranging from harassment to first degree attempted rape. The alleged victim, just 17 years old. I'm really surprised and it kind of hurts your heart because you know the firefighters are supposed to be somebody you can call for help and to think that they're out there doing stuff like that is kind of crazy. Never heard about anything like that around here before. Uh, it's kind of surprising. It's shaken the community those firefighters serve all the way up to the top ranks of their own department. In a statement to WJZ, a Falston Volunteer Fire Company's chief wrote the alleged behavior, quote, simply won't be tolerated. Everyone is accountable. Going on to say he's disgusted by the assertions as the alleged behavior is not acceptable by any standard. Chief Will Rosenberg says he handed the firefighters over to Harford County deputies after learning that they'd been behaving badly from June until late November. Exact details of the allegations haven't been released. I do actually know some firefighters and they're good guys and I'm not going to like count everybody out because of some bad apples. So hopefully they get to the bottom of it. And the three current firefighters are suspended from their own department until the outcome of their criminal cases. Reporting live in Hartford County tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. Hartford County deputies say the fire company has fully cooperated with their investigation.